Well, thanks again for joining me for this fifth journey step uh, called Facing the Future with Faith, Not Fear. Back in the late 1980s, I worked as a research economist with an organization called the Indiana Fiscal Policy Institute. My job was to write rather long uh, research reports on things dealing with Indiana state government uh, policy, tax policy, government uh, programs, things of that nature. But one of the things that I got to do that was very enjoyable and rewarding was to volunteer with something called the Hugh O'Brien Youth Foundation uh, in 1988. It uh, was set up by the actor Hugh O'Brien, who had played in the uh, Wyatt Earp series, of, a TV series of the 1950s. And later in life, he set up a three-day leadership seminar for high school se uh, sophomores to, be, to learn about the free enterprise system. Well, my role as the program uh, chairman was to raise money for the organization. Now, when I first started, they gave me a list of over 100 foundations and individuals, and they said, write letters to these people and ask them for money. Well, I began to do that, but using my new computer skills, I created personalized form letters. I had about six different templates, whether somebody had given in the past, maybe only given one time or given regularly, maybe never given at all, were they from inside the state of Indiana, Indiana or outside the state. So I formed the letters and, and formatted them in such a way that it seemed much more personalized. And we doubled the amount of revenue that we were able to raise. One of the speakers uh, one year was a gentleman who was an expert in the newspaper industry, and he talked about changes that the newspaper USA Today was creating. Instead of having really long articles, they had more bite-sized nugget types of articles. They used a lot of graphics, and they even had a daily section for the top news stories for each of the 50 states in the country. Only one or two sentences per each story. Well, that began to get me to think about, could I become an entrepreneur? Because I was thinking that these research reports that I was writing were just way too long for any person to really read. It would be better to have a short newsletter that had bite-sized pieces of information. And so I took that USA Today model, and I began to conceive of creating my own newsletter business. Now, uh, unlike uh, today, where you can order a video-based course on entrepreneur entrepreneurship, like my course, Creating Your Business Strategy, back then, you sent away for a three-ring binder with several hundreds of uh, pages of information, usually costing about $100, on how to start up your business. Well, that's what I did. One other thing that uh, was occurring, because of the new computer technology that was out there and a new program that I had bought called Lotus123, what used to be a very expensive proposition to create a newsletter was now much less expensive for a normal, uh, regular person working out of their home. And so I created a subscription-based newsletter called Indiana Issues that I marketed to lobbyists, government affairs, trade association folks, uh, things of that nature. Now let me tell you, going into business for myself was frightening. It was another huge step in my journey, um, but on, on my way to accomplishing my second of three goals, which was to uh, earn a living doing something that I enjoyed, I uh, began to discover that God was showing me new things. Ecclesiastes 5, 19-20 says that to eat from the fruit of our labor and rejoice in the labor is the gift of God. For he will not often consider the years of his life, because God keeps him occupied with the gladness of his heart. I discovered that stepping out in faith to take ownership of my work exposed me to new opportunities. I never made much money at my newsletter, but it did in turn lead to still other opportunities. And I learned to face the future with faith, not fear. You know, God gives us experiences that we can reflect on and remember how he has carried us in the past. And then after reflecting on that, we can retell that story to others to encourage them. I hope that my story today of my first attempt at being an entrepreneur has uh, been of help to you and has caused you to think about your own uh, life's journey to your high, uh, on this uh, road to a high-tech uh, LinkedIn world. And if so, please be sure to share those thoughts on this uh, post. Take a moment to do that, and also like my uh, Facebook page at Facebook slash WiseJargon. 
Well, thanks so much for joining me on this journey step today. Until next time, thanks and God bless.